Hello everyone, my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint and in today's video we are discussing about how to enable site collection app catalog using PowerShell uh, PNP PowerShell in SharePoint Online. In my previous video I explained about uh, what is app catalog and why we require that and step by step how we can create an app catalog site uh, from uh, the SharePoint Online Admin Center so i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at uh, that video now today we will discuss about the site collection app catalog so there are two kind of uh, app catalog that we can create one is at the tenant level which is uh, we created from the sharepoint online admin center the other one is which we can enable at the site collection level uh, through PowerShell or PNP PowerShell. There is no UI or the interface where you can create it. You have to use PNP PowerShell or PowerShell. Uh, now, what is the basic difference? So, uh, so the basic difference is in the tenant app catalog, if you upload a app, if you deploy it, then the app uh, or the package will be uh, will be available to the entire site collection um, in the Office 365 tenant. Uh, but if you are, uh, let's say, upload an app to the site collection uh, app catalog, then this will be available only to the site collection or the subsites under that. So that's the main difference. Apart from that, you, you will have only one app catalog for the site collection level as well as for the tenant level also. So we'll, we we cannot create multiple. And also you require a, a tenant level administrator uh, privileges to create this, uh, both the tenant app catalog and the site collection app catalog as well. Now these are the difference. Now um, we will see how we can use PNP. So for example, uh, if I will open uh, the site here, okay, in case you required uh, to learn SharePoint, I have a SharePoint development training course, you can go through it. I, this is a complete SharePoint training course. Uh, there are 23 modules are there and it's lifetime access. I'll put the link in the video description. You can have a look at that. Now this is the site collection. Let's say I have created a SharePoint online site collection and I want to enable the app catalog for this. So for example, I will develop some SPFX web part or anything. I'll put the app over here rather than putting that in the tenant level. So uh, what I'll do is I'll open a notepad where the commands are there. Uh, if you are not familiar with uh, on those PowerShell, uh, meaning I'm talking about here SharePoint online management shell. So basically just search for SharePoint online management shell and then install that. In fact, I have a tutorial and video link called, I'll, I'll, I'll put those links in the video description. You can see how we can install and connect to SharePoint online site. So to work with PowerShell, so you require uh, this to be installed on your machine, SharePoint online management shell. And once you have it, then you can uh, run this connect hyphen SPO service command. So to use SPO commands, uh, you need this uh, SharePoint online management shell and uh, this is the command uh, okay before that so if you want to uh, use pnp powershell then this is the command which you can install in your machine and then after that you can use the pnp commands so pretty simple you can just run these commands now once you have this you can see here connect hyphen spo service so this is basically to uh, have a connection with your uh, SharePoint tenant. Now, if you are using SharePoint online management shell, you have to provide the admin uh, center URL and you can see this is maintenant and hyphen admin dot SharePoint dot com. So this is maintenant admin URL and I'll provide that and you can see hyphen get credential and then get credential. It will ask me to put the username and the password. Make sure it should have the uh, tenant level or the farm level uh, privileges. And then uh, you can see I'm trying to use the get hyphen SPO site command. I'll uh, pass the site URL, so the site collection URL. And then this is the command that we'll use to enable the app catalog. Add hyphen SPO site collection app catalog hyphen this is hyphen site and you need to provide the site collection URL. You can put even in one line. So this is a simple two lines of commands that we can use here. Uh, so I will simply copy this and uh, i will open powershell iac so uh, i use powershell iac i'll say run as administrator click over yes and uh, then you can see here i put it so first thing what it will do is it will ask me for the credential what i when i'll try to log in so you can see here when i uh, when i run this it is asking me for the credential let me just copy the username here 
and the password I will put here so you can see I just put it here and it runs successfully now see what is happening on this now if I'll go to the site content page uh, if you'll see here there is apps for SharePoint list and if you'll click over here you will see a similar kind of interface like when you click on apps for SharePoint in your tenant level app catalog you will see the same thing so this is basically you can see here um, so here you can upload simply you can go drag and drop your uh, files and then uh, means your package file or the app file if you are using SharePoint hosted add-in or provided hosted add-in or if you are using the SharePoint framework then you can put your package file here now this is how we can enable it so the other commands are same also uh, I will not run this command let me just explain this uh, if you are using PNP commands then you don't need to really provide the tenant level URL so rather or tenant admin URL rather you can just provide your site URL and then um, you can see you can use the connect hyphen PNP uh, online and then URL and the credential uh, and then this is the command for this uh, add hyphen PNP site collection app catalog hyphen site and then provide the site URL which you want to use and uh, same way if you want to remove it let's say you don't need this if you want to remove it then the command is remove hyphen SPO uh, site collection app catalog and then provide the site URL that's this pretty simple same thing also in the PNP command remove hyphen PNP site uh, collection app catalog and then provide the site URL pretty straight forward command so uh, you can use this command to work with uh, or to enable your SharePoint online site collection app catalog and then you can upload it over here now this PowerShell script and the PNP PowerShell script I have already written an article on that so I'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at that from there you will get all these things all this uh, script whichever I'm using here now, if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to the channel you will get a lot of free videos on office 365 sharepoint online power platform spfx all these videos you will get it free so thank you and uh, have a nice day